hey welcome back to max programming guys and in this video we will see how you can use how you can use the dark mode feature inside of tailwind css so let's get started Now, first and foremost, uh, let me introduce you what is dark mode in Tailwind CSS. Now, we all know what is dark mode, and we uh, developers actually need dark mode. So, if I was to switch to light mode, my eyes would burn. So, dark mode is a lot better on the eyes. So, if you want to implement it on your Tailwind CSS website, so if you're using Tailwind CSS on your site and you want to use dark mode in that case, what you can do is use uh, inside of Tailwind, you have a very easy way to use it so let me go over how you can use it so I can go uh, on this link on in the docs of Tailwind CSS they have this dark mode section in which they explain how you can simply uh, you ha have a class for the light mode okay which is the default class and you can add this uh, dark colon and then add whatever other utility class you want so that thing will be applied when uh, the user is on dark mode now how can we see how can we check if the user is on dark mode or not well in the tailwind config js you can specify the dark mode property so if i was to go inside of okay this is pl uh, play tailwind css and uh, you can just you know play around with tailwind css it's it's a very cool space uh, so if i was to change something like you know change it to 800 so it will reflect those changes right over here okay now you have this and inside of here i get the config file which has uh, which does not have the dark mode property yet so what i can do is i can just add this dark mode property so let me just copy this and i can go inside of here i can paste that okay now it can be set either to media or class okay so i can set it to class or media or i can uh, just remove it okay so media basically means that uh, tailwind itself will detect if the user's system has dark mode so for instance my system has dark mode on so for instance my computer uh, I have dark mode enabled right now so what it will do is it will detect that system theme and it will uh, basically put your uh, it will put the dark mode on your side or light mode uh, depending on your system theme it will automatically detect that so we set it to media right now okay now the tailwind config is done let's go to html okay and what we can do is i told you we can just add a dark colon and then whatever class we want to add so let's let's try changing the background so we can simply change the background of this uh, application okay so what i can do is you can uh, right now as you can see i have this bg gray 100 class okay on this the the main div so what I can do is I can just add a dark colon okay this is what we'll do okay and then inside of this one I can just add whatever color I want so I can say bg uh, gray bg gray and then if I just you know move my uh, arrow keys you'll see how it looks like so let's just go ahead and set this to something very dark okay so let's just set it to 800 this looks a lot better now uh, let's go on to this section so basically if we go inside of this card where we have the background colors if I was to look at the background color so as you can see I have BG white class I can let that BG white class stay inside of this one and I can add a dark colon and then I can add whichever class I want so let's say BG gray and then we'll add 700 or 600 whatever so let's add 700 but as you can see the text is not white so I can add another one so I can say um, dark and then I can say text dash white and that should change some text like uh, these are explicitly defined classes okay so these are not going to change as of now but this was not defined so as you can see this is white now so similar thing we can do for others so as you can see I have text gray 700 on these things so I can just go ahead and add the same thing so I can just go ahead and say dark text white and instead of white text on this one we can say whichever color we want right it doesn't matter so I can say I want um, 300 and also this is an image so you need a different image and then uh, 
this is you know an image right over here tailwind play that you are seeing so we cannot change this with classes so what we can do is we can just remove this image that's what we can do right so let's just comment this out and you got that so you got this and also this is black so let's change that we'll go over to our span tags so these are the span tags i guess so inside of these span tags we might have okay so as you can see i have this uh these classes and the text gray 900 right so let, we can just go ahead and say dark and i want text gray 100 that's what i can do is i can i can just simply copy this again and i can go to this one and i can say i can just paste that so i can just say dark and then paste this and now i have the white color okay now that is how you basically change it and now if i was to change my system theme to light what you'll notice is this will change automatically to light mode right and you have i mean everything is normal uh, as it was before so i can just go back to my system theme and then i can change it back to uh, what it was so that means dark and if i change it back to dark as you can see this is dark also so it's real time kind of thing and you can change this color these colors also so right now as you can see we have from cyan 400 to a light blue 500 so the, this is a gradient so what i can do is i can just say dark colon and i can say from cyan so let's say cyan from cyan 300 so we'll go from 300 so the the cyan color will be lighter and then i can add another dark and then i can say two light blue uh, 400 okay so this is how it looks like now and i can similarly change whichever color or whichever thing i want so right now as you can see on this svg on this this icon that you see this is the color of the icon but if i want to change this i uh, this color to something else so i can just do something like so right now it's text cyan 500 i can do the same thing for these three accounts and this is vs code uh, like uh, this is the monaco editor so we can just say control d control d to select you know the same things and i can say dark okay and then i can say whatever color i want so i'm gonna say text cyan and let's say i want the 400 okay so this one is a lot lighter now as you can see this link read the docs is darker than uh, you know it's dark because the default color is text cyan 600 on this link so we can as i told we can say dark and then i can say i can say text cyan 400 okay so this link now is 400 but when we hover over this it changes back so we can add a default hover effect so i can just go ahead and say you know for the light mode i can say hover and i can say it's going to change to text cyan 700 and this will only work if it is on the light mode so let's check okay we already have it so let's just remove this okay so uh, this is this will be on the light mode so what if i want to change the hover effect on the dark mode well i can just say dark and then i can use the hover or i can use hover dark or whatever you want so let's just go ahead and use hover and then dark and then i can say whatever thing i want so let's say text and it will be text cyan 300 okay i don't think that's gonna work so maybe let's just use dark and then hover that should work so now we are in the dark mode and when i hover over this as you can see the color is different and if i was to go back to my light theme so let's go back to the light theme and now what you'll notice is we have a different color so that's how you change anything and also we have as i told uh, you can set it to media or you can set it to class okay now this class thing means that you can uh, change it on your own okay with the help of javascript and they actually have provided a snippet which you can easily use so i can just you know on this right over here so they have also provided some comments now in this one they you know whenever the user explicitly chooses light mode the dark mode or chooses to respect the os preference and then you have to run this code uh, whenever the um, you know whenever the user changes the theme now i cannot show you inside of this tailwind play because uh, we don't have javascript support support yet on this uh, but you can use javascript on your own you know in your own project and i can change it back to media if i want 
and then I can go ahead and you know what just change my theme to dark so I can just go ahead and say choose your color to dark and then when we go back to the browser uh, I change it to media and it's still loading okay so it's loading uh, and then it will change it back to dark mode so it looks a lot better with dark mode in my opinion so uh, I hope this video helped you out please like it share it with others and subscribe to the channel if you want more content on JavaScript and react and tailwind and all that web development stuff uh, subscribe to the channel below and press the bell icon and comment down below your thoughts on this tailwind dark mode Finally, thanks for watching.